Hey guys, we made it to the show of shows. Let's walk on in, see what we can find. Find some good deals. We're about an hour early, so we gotta wait a while. Don't open till 12. So we'll go here and mess around a little bit. See what we can find. Dressed as a third right Nazi SS officer, sir. That is a that is an offense. To everyone here that collects Amer American military as a defeated enemy, you will not wear that into our club. Okay, we'll take it off. There's yeah. no problem. Um, okay, we'll, we'll be more than happy to uh, change it up. Yeah, and I imagine if the Expo Center police saw you in here, they would throw you off the property. Just FYI. We had to go to great lengths to preserve our military relic show, and that's one of the things they wanted to hang us on. Was anybody coming around dressed like that or going okay, around yeah. in modern reproduction paraphernalia? We understand that. completely. So, okay, yeah, we so thank I you appreciate for your it. compliance. And yes, like sir. I said, we're not about that. We don't want any of that. So, okay. if you take care of it, I appreciate it. Okay, thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm here with Killer Fish. He's got some pistols he wants to show us. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right. What you got? So this is a Criminal Felici uh, Leipzig uh, Mauser 1914. Beautiful condition, fantastic. Nice. Yeah, it's got a numbered mag, matching. Are you selling or trading? Or? Uh, I'd like to trade. Okay. I'd like to trade pretty much. All right. Um, let's see. What else you got in that goodie bag? Just got another pistol. I've got a uh, Viz 35 Radom. It's a two lever variation. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one. Yeah. Very nice. Fantastic. It's got a really nice marked holster, too. Nice. So, yeah. I love it. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Thanks for showing I'll us. Bring it, of course, of course. Hey, guys, I'm here with Art. Hello. Many of you guys might know him from the Discord server, but he's a young collector. And this is his second show of shows, third show of shows. Uh, I mean, it's my second second show shows okay what are you looking to buy this time uh, I'm looking to uh, I'm not sure all right guys here we go in the door show of shows 2024 hello how are you
And your muchacho, right? That's me. Bill Mussolini. <laughs> it's my Italian cousin. <laughs> AGR. You got my number? Yeah, is it 2318? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. I'll be bad. Trevor, you can go to jail What are you asking for the HJ now? Uh, 650 on this one. Can I see it? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. It's a beauty. Thank you. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing, brother? You doing all right? What are you looking for? Whatever. Whatever. I will, honey. I'll see. Well, that the eagle's right. I mean, I would say that this one right here. I would say probably more than likely, but this one I would say. Really? I mean, look at the. How's it going? Amanda Wyatt, former um, Epic Artifacts. We are now launching a new business. It is called Empire's Past. Um, our website is coming out on March 3rd, and that is with Dave Wyatt, which, if you remember from the previous business. So we are launching out on our own. And um, yeah, stay tuned for March 3rd. Get online, empirespass.com, and check out our website. Great. You guys better go visit her. Thanks. Hey, I'm here with Dave. He's going to tell us about his chained SS dagger he has for sale. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. How are you? I can't complain, man. I'm about to show shows, you know. <laughs> so what's up? What do you got here? The, the, I got Pretty much what we got here is a, a Type A chained SS. Um, so this one... I'm just going to put this out there. So this one's actually not for sale. This, okay. one, this is this is one out of my own collection that I I just brought, but I set it aside. So gotcha. Pretty much the Type A's. These are the earliest types that that we know of for these 36 patterns. And really, the easiest way to tell is there's a there's a little there's a little septum that's inside of the nasal cavity of the the skull link. Okay. Um, and that that's really what distinguishes an A from a B or a C okay. instantaneously. Um, but generally, you know, the general characteristics of these things are, you know, solid nickel chains uh, with good burnishing, painted scabbards. Uh, the, 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 the scabbard throat and the drags are usually plated. Um, okay. And then the blades, same thing, plated upper and lower cross guards. That's that's kind of I mean that's that's pretty much the gist of these things. Um, how do you uh, one question about see how there's a little bit of a fit uh, gap there? Uh huh. What causes that? And is, is that something we should be concerned about? It, it, it you, you got to judge it on its own merits. Um, okay. So these things will expand and contract over time. Okay. And honestly, every single one of them was was hand fitted by by the factory worker. So right. 
again, you just you got to look at the dagger and judge it by its merits. Okay. All right. Um, it does bother some guys when the fit is not perfect. But right. I, you know, I've, I've I've seen quite a few of these things where they have gaps larger than others, and it, yep. it just you you know it's it hasn't been touched. Right. Right. Um, right. You got to take the totality of the circumstances right. to make a decision. I understand. Yes. And this is obviously a good, a very good dagger. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. The porta pea is nice too. Very little wear on it. Another thing I point out with the Type A's is the blade should not be marked. This is this is one of the only models where you're not going to find a maker mark on the blade. If you do, then it's it, it, you know the the, no the dagger's been swapped out with the scabbard. At some oh, I see. Point. It could be no good, or but it could have been swapped. Either some, one. Some of the later chains, though, you 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 will find them with maker marks. Absolutely. Um, I know everybody wants them unmarked, and that's really the way you know. That's kind of the textbook way. Right. But they did upgrade them. Um, right. The Type A's, you really want them unmarked. Well, that's good for new collectors to know. Uh, just small things like that can save them a bundle of money down the down the road. So uh, you guys have a website that's launching soon. You want to mm -hmm. tell me about that? So we got, yeah, it's Empire's Past. Uh, we're, we're launching this coming Sunday on March the 3rd. And, oh, know, this Sunday. It's already on us. It's coming up. Great. About eight days. You know, we put a lot of work into this, and uh, I don't know. We're excited, but we're also nervous about it. So yeah. we'll see. <laughs> uh, we got, it's, uh, I, I think there's about 250, 280 items that are going up. Well, I'm sure you'll do well because you guys have a good name in the hobby. And, uh, Thank you. Best of luck to you, brother. I appreciate it. All Thank right, man. You. Thank you. Bye. I put it up on the Fair Market Awards form before. And that's how I found out who the owner was. Yeah, it looks good to me. Oh, it is. Yeah. How much you want for it? Thirty-five hundred. Thirty-five hundred. Yeah. Just don't see. No, you don't. That's in oh, good shape. Yeah. And the uh, attribution doesn't hurt it either. Oh no, especially. It is what it is, though. Yeah. So, do you sell quite a bit? Yeah. Right? Um, so, I literally just I was just looking for stuff, so I literally just kind of. Yeah. I've been saying that stuff in that case over there, those are the ones you ought to film. Okay. Those are just run of the mills. Well, all of my uh, video viewers are new collectors. Yeah, well, there's some mint, two mint hail or use right here. Yeah, there's a. Don't get much better than that, does it? No. I already sold one. I had three. What are you asking yeah. for? Uh, that one's twenty-seven fifty, and that's twenty-two fifty, and I already sold the uh, three thousand dollars. Okay. And then that one there, Tom Whitman used to own that. That's me. Focus, hey, Frank. Pretty good. How are you? How's the gun business? You guys still cranking them out? Set this. Well, they they uh, passed a new uh, regulation with the OVMS yeah. that uh, all tables are fair game to video. I know, but it's just a courtesy thing. Yeah, I know.
on the inside of the SS helmet with the legs. That's awesome. I this, love it. That's this killer. Is, this is the SS Nordic Division. Nordic. Well, yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, the yeah. It's nice to show close up details. Uh, this is a new one. I just got it. It's a Sony Z something. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. I enjoy it. Yeah, good seeing you, buddy. Good seeing you. There's the contact info if you guys would like to buy something from the very... That's a great back on that piece. Good, how are you doing? Yeah, not only, you know, it's baker marked on the back and then the case is also marked to the same. That's, that's beautiful. That's what's, you know, it's a Bavarian, so it's the larger crown right. versus the Prussian. Billy, what do you got on that? 75 bucks, EK2 World War One with no ribbon? Yeah, I think 75. You can, you can see the smaller crown of the Prussian badge uh, compared to the, uh, the, oh, large, yeah. the yeah. larger of the Bavarian. Definitely a big change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we guarantee our stuff is original. Guaranteed for life. I'm just new to metal, so yeah. I'm not sure. Well, yeah, this is real. L'Oreal made that. Yeah, that's real. That's I just real. wanted to have it checked out. Yeah, that's real. Our advice is you don't have to buy from just buy from somebody that backs their right. stuff up. There's a lot of guys here that won't, and if they yeah. won't, there's a reason for it. Right. And everything, everything over oh, here is you. free shipping, so it's all listed on the website and all that. Okay, I'm here with Billy Kramer. He is the owner of VermartMilitaria.com. Uh, we've got some uh, cool party badges, some nice SS buckles. Uh, how can people get a hold of you if they wanted to buy some of your stuff? Everything here is listed on the website, free shipping, guaranteed authentic for like, you know, it's not fake stuff today. It's not going to be fake tomorrow. So you can right. guarantee real stuff. No questions uh, asked, return policy. Yeah, I, 
absolutely. Yeah. If it's if, if something and I make a mistake on, I, I will gladly buy it back. Right. That's that's right. absolutely. Um, so VermontMilitary.com. It's pretty easy and bright to remember. Okay. Um, yeah, we got a lot of quality stuff and good deal. Yeah. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. it, brother. Yes, sir. videos, brother. Well, I'm going to showcase your junk. That's fine. You buy something? Yeah, Ukrainian. Okay, Buys cool. are from a Russian dude. Nice. You're fully retired now. I am fully retired, my friend. Are you live streaming? No, no, it's just video. Oh, okay. There you go. How's it feel to be retired? Feels good. Was it? I'm gonna tell you, man. We, first, it was freaking weird. I mean, you, dude, you've been over 40 some years used to working. Uh, used to getting up at a certain time every day. Five o'clock, man. It's a young girl. Come back to the best of the best. It's beautiful, man. It is. And the petit kit is clean. 
picture and stuff, that's Frank Duchesne. Super funny. I like the old looking stuff. I mean, you, I'm sure you can clean up the potato bit. Thank you. Thank okay. you for having me. Oh, no problem. There is. I just looking really just okay. this is my first show and oh my god you got lots of digestion. my 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 grandfather kind of collected some of this stuff so it's kind of I was at the first one this is about one tenth the size of this well it's kind of see things that make me kind of emotional you know what I mean <laughs> so it brings life back a lot of memories yeah, yeah. so uh, a lot of people will be pissed off if you took them really well. Like I, that, that's one. I don't like that's one reason I joined because they don't mind. Right. I understand. Absolutely. I understand. Yep. Okay. He is. I think. Yeah. They were when we come in. They were. They were opening up. All these, or you've, you've done these up too? These are I, all. I do everything: do the painting, the aging. Uh, I, these are souvenir helmets that I thought I would try this year. Right. So. Well, the. Uh... Thank you. It's been a lot 
stamp. So what's the story about these boots? These were General Patton. These are the ones who were on the accident. When he was in the accident. Yeah, in the accident. What's interesting, it has the same Christopher on the heel. Yep. And uh, th these what he had on, they cut them off and I put new shoelaces in them, which ruined them. But, right. Uh, that's what he had on. Yeah. That was a real accident. Oh, yeah. Good morning. That's very cool. That's great. Take one of those. Hey, you can have one of those if you like. For sure, if you need. Thirty-five, forty years ago, uh, I've done a lot of correspondence. I, I was collecting before there was internet or cell phones or any of that shit. Yeah. And it was just so common to talk to a guy that I never recorded most of what I did. Yeah. One big mistake was, I can't remember the man's name, but the officer in charge... Saturday for me. How's your eyes? Maybe a bit than yours, but not a great deal. Well, you don't have a. He's 
claiming that's a no we Oh, the macho man. What's up, man? You all right? Yeah, everything's cool. Good, good. It's pretty cool. No, it's not. Hey guys, I'm here with Victor. He has some great medals. He's going to show us some rep. Here's his contact info. And here we go. All right, Victor, what have you got to show us today? 
making fun. We are having a lot of fun here. It is fun. It's a great show. He has some really rare medals he wants to show us, uh, Spanish production and German production. So, yeah. can you tell us about these? Sure. This is the German, uh, German, uh, uh, oh, sorry. It's okay. Uh, this is the German Eagle Order, third class with swords. It's a Spanish production, first model. You see the back. It's like this. This is the first model. Yeah. It's quite rare. It's made for the veterans of the Blue Division. Like uh, the Iron Cross first class is also Spanish production. Which is quite rare because only a few hundred were made. Okay. This is the Spanish medal for the volunteers of the Blue Division. When they arrive uh, from Germany, uh, they got the German one. Yeah. Uh, and then is the uh, Spanish government issue. Okay. This is the first type with the box. So we can show the, the box. It's an interesting one. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So these first three are Spanish made. Yeah. Okay, and these are German. And this is German. Okay. These are made in Germany. This is Spanish medals made in Germany for the Legion Condor veterans. Okay. Like uh, this one is by, by uh, made by my Bauer. You see the catch. We can compare with the Spanish made one. Okay. This is the Spanish type made by Agaña maker. It's made in silver. You see the catch it's like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can see immediately can the see different the, catch. Yeah, sure. Uh, this it. is made uh, usually first type is in tombak, second type is in zinc. Gotcha. So okay. uh, this one is kind of interesting. It's white enamel, which means non-combat award. Okay. Okay. Okay, gotcha. But it's quite rare. Very nice. Very nice. Those are awesome. Thank you very much, Victor. And you guys be sure to visit his uh, website. Give him a call if you're interested. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. This is all trench art. These are even the beaded items are trench art. Things that were made by POWs and prison camp. And, hey, how you doing, man? You doing all right? Good, good to see you. I'm gonna video a little bit of your stuff. You don't care? Okay, good deal. This is uh, Jeff Strader, the man, the myth, the legend. This is his stuff. So. There's his contact really info. Hey, thank you very much. If you Let's need to talk to him, we'll there you go. This is all trench art, believe it or not. Every bit of it is trench art. Price on those auto wash pins, 50 bucks. It's crazy, and some of this stuff is freaking cool. Look at the ivory carved trench art. <laughs> look at this one, Greg. You got look, looks like armor, like a, like a with a slip where they can see out. Isn't that cool? This is some unbelievable trench art. Oh, those are fuses that have been carved.
Salford. Salford, yeah, Fritz Salford. I'll show you. And that's his signature as well because it's on, on, on uh, he signed other documents. So I'll show you here. So it's, a, it's a, an interesting piece of history apart from it being the special issue. Oh, yes. There's a lot of, there's a lot of information about that. So here he is. Fritz. Is it? This one? Well, oh, below it.
Hey guys, I'm here with Larry Minestrina. He's gonna to talk to us about his SS tunic. Okay, so what I have here is a model 1943 SS tunic. Um, it's named to the Deutschland Regiment. And uh, prior to 1930, this soldier was one of the old fighters, the Alte Kampfer. And this is what entitled him to wear this chevron. That means that in the early days of the NSDAP struggles, uh, this SS uh, regiment uh, was involved in the early fighting. So this soldier was entitled to wear the Alte Kampfer Pre-1930, uh, right? Pre-1930. Yeah. Right. And there, here, here's an M43 cap. And this is one of the ones that is made from the Italian wool. Oh, nice. You can see the the marking in there. Padova. I see it. P A D O V A. Yeah, that's good. That's high quality there. That's a great one. For sure. But this is not for sale, right? No, but this is my display piece and this is uh, for sale. The Panzer Wrap is for sale. Right. SS Pan. Third Panzer Division. Third Panzer Totenkopf. SS Panzer Wraps are rare and very seldom come up for sale. It's beautiful. Well, that's a that's a great tab. Beautiful. Okay, here's the contact information, guys. If you're interested in the Panzer Wrap or any other things.
Yeah. They were allowed. Yeah, it's just kids and dogs. Oh, it's so soft. One over here. You're a big one. You're a big one. He's the oldest. <laughs> when you scratch that when he goes. <laughs> so I like it. <laughs>
All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Show a show 2024 is in the books. Muchacho out.